can be huge on this map. If you can't shut down the sniper, oh, it's, and there it's they go. Game over. It seems like they've started. All right, I will sit here at the bird's eye view of the point as both teams start to roll out. Why don't you? T why don't you tell us what? Uh, 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 and who to watch out for? Blue's demo is the first to start, so they've got the big advantage there. Most of the red team guys coming out. Yeah, blue, main. yeah, blue team. Oh my god, blue there. team's demo got there first, but the red team came swarming in, but they they got punished hard for it, man. Okay, we got the blue spike trying to make a play in on one of the on one of the classes, but unfortunately he gets picked out instantly. Now here's red something. Spy just tried to get the sniper didn't work out. Now here's something interesting about the red heavy. He's positioned himself on the cliff. He's far away from his from his uh, medic and such. Oh wait, never mind. Okay, the so medic is right here. That is actually a common strategy for this map. Uh, the heavy holds the cliff. You'll see the blue heavy's doing it now too. Uh, so they can watch behind them to see if a spy comes in, and they kind of stop uh, flanking classes. Uh, so a lot of times heavies will play up there. It's kind of the standard play for this map. Now we we seem to have a weapon difference uh, between the two between two between two of the classes. We seem to have a. Let's see if I can get up, get up on our on our friend the the blue heavy. Let's see. Up uh, there, we, there we go. He seems to be running the Natasha, whereas his red count heavy counterpart seems to be running the Tomslav. Do you have any opinion on what on about that about that ch weapon choices as the blue as the blue Uber is popped on point? Typically, uh, I think Tomislav's would be the better choice here. Uh, because you're not going to be uh, like really jumping in as heavy too much on this map uh, if you're holding that cliff. So you're going to want that extra accuracy, uh, especially if you're hitting classes from farther away. All right, now one now one of the classes we're, 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 we got to be watching out for are the roamers on both sides. So as one as 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 as, uh, as shooting blanks, roamer Gabe is just is just sitting here controlling this. This little hall, this little corner be or corridor between uh, red side and blue side. Now he's trying yeah, to contest. Connector. Yeah, the connector between re between the two points. And now he's trying. Now uh, it seems both Romans are just trying to keep that uh, corridor contested for their side, preventing anyone from going through. And it looks like a uh, red sniper is doing more. Oh, work oh my goodness! The, all those picks for red team. Those that's a lot of picks down for red team, and yet blue team is still able to cap the point. Yeah, it's not sometimes not about just trying to kill everybody as much as pretending, you know, realizing that the point is still there. So a lot of times teams forget about that. Yes, but at the same time, oh my goodness, blue blue sniper just pops one on the onto blue pyro, and red demo takes down blue's team blue team medic, and now they're just getting wiped out. This is gonna get this is gonna buy at least thirty seconds for for red team. All right. All right. It seems uh, seems we seems Silent has lost his voice. You there, Silent? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, man. I did. All right, okay, I didn't know. But meanwhile, we got the blue, we got Rimbus on the on the blue spy. He's trying. He's in a one-on-one -on -one duel against Pyro. A duel he does not win. CC. The heavies are still holding their corners. That's that's pretty much what they're gonna do most of the game. Yeah, they need to control that airspace to protect their medic. Cause they, and you, cause... see this, you see that part right there is the blue heavy decided to jump down to get behind the rock. When he did that, the red soldier came in and destroyed their medic. See, he should have just stayed up ready for the for the jump. Okay, now one thing we forgot to talk about as this match began is the sniper lanes. The, the, the sniper battle is one of the most important things for this map. Simply because of how much control these snipers have and it seems... And it seems, uh... R shooting blanks this sniper has is losing this fight for them and because of that they cannot push onto this point safely yeah there's about eight different sight lines that you can get with the sniper on this map uh depending on what you feel more comfortable with and being able to move between them is pretty good uh, the sniper that's going to have the advantage is the one that really plays more with the combo he's going to be more in danger from getting spam and such but he's going to be safer from spies Oh yeah, and you can just tell he the, the the longer this sniper stays uncontested for a roadkill, the more the more the more ground he controls, and the harder it is for a shooting flank stick to push in. They need to push in, but every time they try to push in, the sniper is there to pick off the medic. Shooting blanks' his medic is really having a hard time d avoiding his sight line. All right, but it seems that shooting blanks has taken control of the point, and they are trying to set up with their with their combo and their core classes. 
This is kind of an all over match here. It's uh, it's hard to tell. You can come back. Oh my goodness! Uh, but Road Kill, but Medic drops with drops with his Uber. He is down. That is gonna buy at least half a minute, and we got the. And we got red players diving in to try and get at the medic, but he is well protected back there by the corner. Oh boy, spies on him, but it seems like the seems like medic his, the shooting blanks of medic is aware of that. And it's like I said, you know, they have eight seconds on the clock, but you know, you drop an Uber like that, and you can gain it all back. Oh yeah, it takes about how how many how long does it take for an Uber to go from zero to fully charged for the medic? Takes about a oh, full medic, medic and here we go. Oh, oh boy, here we go. We got we got blue medic being forced to pop after that bomb in from Roadkill Soldier. He's healing the spy a little bit. Well, you know, spy, you know, spy. He, he he goes without he goes without he heals 95% of the match. Blue regaining control here for sure. Blue, blue is beginning to control, and down. we got a and, and blue here, sniper is push. on a five-player kill streak with the uh, with blue heavy following behind with a four-player kill streak. This is going to be their last push. What's the percentages on both the medics here? Um, it looks like the, it kind of looks like yeah, if I can find find blue 52 medic. Fifty-two percent on the blue uh, medic, and, and fully charged on the red ahead. medic, and the red move medic combo is pushing in. They are just they are just pummeling blue blue off the off the point right now, but they are taking so many casualties, and it looks like first round is gonna go to shooting blanks unless a miracle can happen here with the red. Death. They can get it back here, uh, uh, but not not gonna happen. No, it looks wow, like first round go looks like first round goes to shooting blanks. So just like I said from the start, red had it, um, made a few mistakes, and now you know blue was able to take it back. Now I'll see which demo gets to the start here. Last time it was blue demo. Um, it yeah, looks blue like demo blue demo gets again. there first, but he's taken up a very weird position. He's controlling the he's controlling the uh, control connector. Connector, yeah, there we go. I'm 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 oh my goodness. And red blue soldier tried to bomb in, and now spy is is pistoling down the red the red medic. He is almost dead there, he's dodging for and dodging for his me medic life. Just again. And Blue Heavy Blue tosses a sandwich for his medic, but pays for it with his life. But and now, red. and now Red Road Kill takes the point, and now they're starting to set up. So it's interesting what your team ends up doing when it gets to this point, where you you know successfully uh, push them off, you capped it, and a lot of them are down. Now they're respawning back into you. You know where do they do? A lot of times, like to hold under this cliff here or behind the rock, trying to stay safe. Uh, sometimes they like to push forward, depends how much time is left on the clock. So they have their uh, spy and I think their scout was pushing forward, but now they're all holding behind. Yes, and now it comes down to the next next phase of this uh, match, at least for the first two minutes of both teams. It comes down to the sniper war. Who wins the sniper war? Now, here's the problem, see? They, they stayed back too much, they let blue regain too much ground, and when you let them get too much ground, a good team's gonna really expand upon that. So they sent in a bomber, they forced their pop, uh, they sent the spy in at the same time. They, they coordinate that, coordinated it pretty well, but they still weren't able to take the point. Perhaps, but red, but red, but road kill sniper fallen ground, fallen gourd actually is co is currently on like a three kill streak right now, and he's got the medic in his sight. Like, oh, misses the shot with the headshot. Just barely whips, barely whips it at that last point. And he is just—he has just taken so much control for, control in this match. Both snipers have taken so much control for their teams. All right, it looks like blue team is trying to take control of this point, but the red blue medic is trying to survive. Now, oh, he drops after getting a saw. He was at 90% right there. And it appears Cylon DMS has lost his voice again. Yes, yeah, Cylon. All right, come, come on, man. You got you got to help me here, man. I I can only cast so much by myself. Right. Yeah. Let's uh just try and focus more on the the sniper footage here. See what they're doing with the matchups. Well, right now we got a new. We got the red Uber pushing in, retaking retaking control of the point, preventing Blue from capping it. And B Blue Spy is off, is instantly picked out and burned out by the pyro. Okay, as the clock is ticking down, there's only 50 seconds left, which leaves 
which leaves just one last push for uh, t for team shooting blanks to, to push in with their uber charge. But Spy just took down the Angiana sentry, he's heading into the Spy and Spy battle here, going for the scout. Okay, blue, blue, okay, shooting stuff, shooting blanks has taken control of the point, but with, but because they lack the classes to actually control it, the the roadkill team has regained control of the point. And now we got Red Roamer to uh, taking Red Roamer, Red Roamer, Captain Bre Ken Highway, come over! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! He is trying to get he is trying to get behind shooting blanks, but he is he just takes way too much spam and is picked off by the by the blue heavy. Okay, the blue. Okay, shooting blanks. His Uber comes out, and they are just ripping apart, ripping apart roadkill, roadkill's uh, players. But they, but they still neglect to take down the roadkill sniper, and he is just coming back in and getting picked. Okay, so RK has got nine seconds on the clock here. They can really just regroup and push in as a team. They don't have to go for these individual kills. Okay, now here is there something interesting about the. Uh, about if I don't know if you can act, if you actually can this tap right now. For them on this one for sure. Oh, they are just oh yeah, they are definitely pulling out with a with a heavy on the five kill streak and look and right now it is one to one. We got an even game so far. Super excited. Okay, something interesting. It seems the roadkill engineer is top scoring for his team. And it looks like Roadkill Demo reaches the point just slightly s slower than Blue, than Blue, or uh, than uh, Shooting Starts, or not Shooting Starts, shoot, Shooting Blanks' Demo. And because, and because Bo Shooting Blanks' Demo is, uh, is dead, or died during that push, Re Roadkill Demo is now, has taken complete control of the point using his stick. Blue's all over the point here. Red team is gonna regroup on the cliff here. See where their sniper's at. Yeah. Now, how sniper's do you now? How would cliff. you? How do you feel about this pushing from the cliff set from pushing from the cliff on on this map? It works fine. I mean, right now I see most of them are behind the point. Okay, so we got the Uber right exchange going it. off between the we got the Uber exchange going off between the two combo classes as blue, as uh shoot as shooting blanks tries to push in, but uh. Or if not shoot, shooting blanks, the roadkill tries to push in, but are instantly repulsed by the shooting blanks as Uber. Yet once again, roadkill has the be has more kills, has the better classes to control and hold the point, and thus capture it. Let's take a look at Fallen Gord, the uh, the sniper. See what he's trying to do here. See if he can get a pick. Oh, he's got he's looking down that sightline. He is tr he is wait he is controlling that sightline trying to find someone to pick off. You see he's being very patient. He's, he doesn't want to reveal stuff because oh there he goes. He gets uh, he gets uh, shooting blanks his demo. demo. Yeah. He takes out shooting blank he, he takes out the demo man. De demo man is one of those classes you cannot afford to not have for these pushes or holds. He's just oh so important with it for his damage. Yeah, it's a bar, but you can still come back from it. Uh, it all depends on how you pitch with your sniper and then also your uh, soldier heavy. Okay, up. Oh, he, he spotted out the blue. He spotted out shooting blank sp spy, and he's called it out to his pyro, and his pyro is now on his back. Out now, now, Fallen Gord is uh, taking control of the cliff. He's got the blue demo in sight, and he takes him down again. He's got to be raging after this. Yep, the Uber exchange has bought, and unfortunately, shooting blanks pops the Uber on the pirate. Very not sure if that was intentional, but but Fallen Gort taking down the blue heavy again now. Hey, like I said, sniper is doing work on this map. Is what you really need. Yep, he's got the medic in his sight. He's waiting for the medic to pop. He sees the beam and he domes him. 
Oh, you got the medic too, huh? So, Fallen Gord is just, he, he, he's just going big for his team. He is going ham. Oh, nope, he's going pan. There he goes. And now he sees the blue demo once again. He's got him in his sight. And, oh, he's waiting for it. He's, wait, he's He knows he's back there. But it seems he's not going to take the shot. Okay, Shooting Blink seems to be trying to make a play onto the point now. There's only 30 seconds left in this round for, or on the counter for, for Roadkill. The Shooting Blink need to cap this point, and they do cap it. Now the question is, can they hold it against the Roadkill Uber? And the question looks like, no, they cannot. Oh my goodness, Blue Demo barely saving his medic. Oh my goodness, I'm not sure if it, did Blue, how much how much how much of a charge does Blue Medic have? He is almost he's almost at the charge and he's almost dead. Blue Medic needs to be really careful about this. If he drops this Uber, it is over for his team in this round. Okay, they just got a pile all over it, so, you know, one good push and that's theirs. But it seems plenty of teams mess this up. Okay, we got RK, we got Roadkill Zero on the spy. He's going in, he's in, he's activated Deadwinger. They know the spy is back there. Yeah, but his watch, he's going to try and get a jump off the top, most likely. Oh, no, Engineer spots him. He's on him now. Oh, he's getting chased. Hey, you gotta deal with that spy somehow, man. You gotta deal with the spy. You cannot leave him go, let him go unattended. Hey, might as well send the engineer after him too. Alert! Our control point is being captured. Up, oh, we got the Uber exchange going on as RK Zero takes down the blue spy. Now body blocking the medic and and just just swiping away at the red at the red pyro. He goes down. Definitely a botched push, but they still got a lot out of it. They're still four up on, uh, on the red side. Botched push, perhaps, but blue team is still in control of the point, at least. They have, they have a lot of time to cap this back. They just gotta cap it a little bit. Oh my goodness! Oh, spy uh, spy the taking point. down the red. Spy taking down the red heavy, and here we go. We got everyone piling in onto the point. If blue, if blue team doesn't act, Just oh no, roadkill take it, two to one so far. All right, here we go. We're starting up round three. Let's get, let's see which demo reaches the front. Let's watch the snipers at the start here. See what they're doing. Red sniper's been on fire. Red sniper has been on fire indeed. I'm watching a, I'm watching blue sniper right now. He tries to get a pop up on the red sniper, but he get, but he instantly dodges it and just gets out of the way. And there's a spy coming up behind uh, the sniper. No, he took. He got the control Okay, we got we got Neon Pluffs playing uh, playing sniper for the for shooting blanks, and he has gained complete control of the of the middle ground area. He sees that. Or he knows that the, red, that the red sniper has to be there, and he is watching for him, and he domes the red pyro! And he barely gets away from the red spy at 1 HP. Now, now, how do you feel about about the uh, sniper, sniper positioning himself behind this rock here, as opposed to the... Uh, I suppose the other sniper leans as the Uber exchange happens on the point. It's a pretty standard spot. It has a lot of good coverage. Um, you know, you can you can get some shots off from there. And it's easier for you to escape back into your combo. So it's pretty solid. A lot of times, uh, snipers also like. To oh play my China goodness! Falling Gore takes takes down the red takes down blue demo from the air, and he domes the medic right afterward. And he's got he's got blue sniper in his sight line sight line. Uh oh, sniper sight line. Oh my goodness. There's a tongue twister if ever there was one, and he's waiting for him to come out. But it doesn't look like he's taking the bait. Yeah, Fallen Gord's really, uh, you know, opening up a lot more opportunities for their. Uh, he is, defi he is team. definitely get getting the key picks to. Yeah, he is definitely getting those key picks for his team to take advantage of.
Okay, now here's something interesting. We have the red demo bringing out the iron bomber grenade launcher instead of the instead of the other instead of one of the other grenade launcher as the U exchange happens. What do you think about that weapon for this map? Oh my goodness, oh. it gets domed by the blue sniper. Sorry to interrupt you, but he gets domed the instant the Uber wears off of him for the fraction of a cent second. I mean, if he's going to be getting really into their combos and with this kind of a tight map, it could be really useful because, you know, a little bounce, a little rolling, um, a shorter uh, fuse time. If he's going to be really getting in their faces, it'll help him out. So he knows exactly where to spam if you're watching him. So it, it's Oh my goodness, we got, we got shooting blanks as Sniper on a five kill streak and he takes down Fallen Gord, the Sniper for Red Team. Definitely, snipers are doing a lot of work for these two teams. That's usually the case when it comes to these higher levels. You know, the better sniper you got, the, the better team you're going to be. You know, if you can protect your sniper or if you don't need to and they're, you know, autonomous, they're, you're going to open up all these avenues to really push in, which is what Red's been doing. Okay, but we got the we got blue Uber we got the Uber exchange happening on the point, but it's just the blue combo for for them on this point. They are getting isolated. Red Pyro pushing poor medic back, and he gets backstabbed. But still, blue team is still in control of the of the field despite losing so many numbers. And because of this sniper, this blue sniper, they are taking the point back after losing it. Alright, so Blue Sniper, he's, uh, he's realized he's got to put a little bit more out there. He's probably getting a little bit more protected. He's playing on the with the combo more, so he's getting some more picks. Oh yeah, he's rocking that Australian Sniper Rifle. He's definitely got to show his stuff. He cannot, he has to show his stuff for this man. Oh my goodness, he just took his eye off away from where Roadkill was. I'm not sure if he knows that Roadkill is right there. I mean, he sees the heavy, he's waiting for him to pop down. He sees him, he's got him in his sight light. Oh my goodness, he misses the shot. Red's retaken here. Meanwhile, we got Fallen Gord. Oh, we, we, up back to Blue Sniper. He's on a four kill streak, but we got Fallen Gord. He's waiting, looking around. He sees, he sees the bombing sonar, and he brings him down in the shot with the body shot. Up oh, now we got the blue Uber coming out, and they are just put and they are just bullying uh, Roadkill Back and forth here, back and forth. Oh yeah, this is what we like about this is what we like about King of the Hill. We don't like uh, we don't like three L matches. We like when both teams are pulling out, and ne and Neon gets another kill streak for another kill for his sixth kill streak, bringing down the red pyro. There you go. So now the, the, the blue sniper is putting in more work. Uh, the rest of his team's got to, you know, get on it and oh, wait. those advantages. Up, hate to interrupt you, but we got the red Uber popping out, and he and red Uber uh, and the red Uber just blowing everyone off. But we, but the clock is ticking, and now overtime is out. Can Roadkill take this? Yes, they took the point. Now Roadkill has to hold the hold the point for a full minute in order to in order to take this round. Meanwhile, all rope, you know, all shoot, shooting blanks has to do is take the point, and this round is theirs, and we go to round five. But it doesn't look like that's happening because Roadkill is just eviscerating uh, shooting blanks as they take down at least six players in that push. It looks like Red's gonna come from behind again on this one. Maybe that first round was just a fluke. Perhaps, but Fallen Gord and Fallen Gord and uh, and Pluff see each other. They're looking for each other. They're looking for those shots. We got the Red Uber coming out now. They are bullying the. They're bull, bullying points. We got Sim Simmons is putting damage out. He sees the heavy. He brings them down, spamming, spamming the point, planting stickies, and healing up as well as we are. Now here we go. There's still overtime on the point. But it up, oh, we got the quick fix from 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 showing blanks, but That's it's not right enough. There. And there's the first half with ro Roadkill going this to three to one.